Leading by asking questions is one of my favorite leadership style because it's extremely powerful. It helps to facilitate understanding, it encourages engagement and dialogue, and it demonstrates interest and respect for the other people you are speaking to and you are asking. And this leadership principle can also be applied to your MBB interview performance. Because here it is kind of the same. If you are able to ask the right question, you will better understand what is the situation your client is in and also what is the expectation of your interviewer. How you should approach that problem, right? What's the granularity? How deep you need to go? How many examples you need to come up with in a brainstorming, for example? And this is, I would say, 50% of the questions that we get asked have to do with not knowing what your interviewer wants from you. And how should we know? What we know is how to solicit this from your interviewer on eye level by having a conversation, by asking the right and relevant question And not like a random question where you don't even have a rational for asking them. Because your interviewer is not a, a data monkey, right? That is providing you all kinds of answers without understanding why you even have asked in first place. So by asking the right question, you will be able to lead this conversation in a systematic and structured way. Right? So this is essentially following exactly the same topics I have discussed at the beginning. So it facilitates understanding of the context of the client and also of what the expectation of your interviewer is. It encourages engagement and dialogue because a good case interview always feels like a conversation. It's not a vocabulary test. It's not like a verbal exam at university. It's not like the interviewer is asking you something and you need to answer, it's about a joint problem solving, a joint creation of the understanding of the situation you are in and then having a conversation about potential solution ways. Because there is not only one solution. This is not asking about your previous knowledge. This is about how you are approaching a complex and often new problem for you. And this cannot be done by yourself. This only can be done by including your interviewer and changing this question from your interviewer in a dialogue of you and your interviewer together. And in the end, demonstrating interest and respect, it is exactly what you will do when you have finished your case interview part and you're asking about the interviewer and things that are interesting or interesting uh, about the respective company you are interviewing with. And the third part, demonstrating interest and respect, this is taking up exactly at the end of your interviews when you can ask your interviewer specific questions or things that you are interested um, about with regards to the company or the experiences or the trends or uh, whatever publication you have read. So there you can prove again that you have done your homework and that you bring interesting questions and you just are a conversation partner, a partner where you can have a dialogue with on eye level. So don't forget Your case interview will be heavily influenced by your ability to ask the right questions at the right time. So include this in your preparation deliberately.